everyone. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but I've been really sick. Not for the past two days. The first day I was just hungover. I might have been sick, but I thought I was hungover because I had drank the night before. And then yesterday, I was definitely sick. I think I ate some bad sushi or something. And so I still don't feel great, but I wanted to talk about the failure of the Affordable Care Act repeal. <clears throat> it's really, really funny to me that the Democrats and, and like the mainstream media and all this stuff, they're acting like this is some big success for their party or something. It's not. It, it's just... I mean, I knew this wasn't going to pass in the first place. I mean, you can you can look at what was going on in the Republican Party and especially what was going on with like Rand Paul and his complete just unsupport of it. And you're going, OK, well, this ain't going to pass. You know, Rand Paul has a lot of support. There's too much fracturing going on in the Republican Party. They're going to have to learn how to work together. The problem with the the ACA repeal bill was that it didn't do enough, right? Like, I think part of the bill was that if you lapsed on your insurance, you had to pay an insurance company part of the cost or something. Um, and I don't think that's right. That's such bullshit. There's a lot of things that need to be done to reform healthcare, and that bill didn't go far enough. Um, I mean, this is something that, uh, Six Haxenhammer has talked a lot about. He talked about competition and getting competition into the market so that prices go down. I know for me personally, I have uh, TRICARE, which is great, but it's also really fucking expensive. I'm 24 years old. I go to the doctor for, you know, a doctor's visit maybe once every three months, and I'm paying 300 and and. $29 a month for, for health insurance for a health care visit that probably costs $100 every three months. I, I'm, I'm saying that the health care prices are, are absolutely ridiculous. For the amount that I use, I'm paying way more into the system than I'm using. And I know it's there for like in case of emergency, but really $329 a month for someone who's perfectly ha healthy and doesn't have a hazardous job, you're going to charge that person $329 a month? I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't seem fair. Like I pay more for uh, my health insurance do than I do on my housing. It's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. That is not the way that it should be. I would love to be paying only like a hundred bucks a month for health insurance. That'd be awesome. Do you know how much that would help me with all of my bills and stuff if I could cut down on my health insurance costs? Oh, so much. You have no idea. It would be such a relief to me. And the bill that they were trying to pass wasn't going to do that. It wasn't going to lower the premiums like that. You have to have interstate competition, first off. Like, and, and the thing is, is like, so I have like TRICARE. There's no reason why a health, chair, health insurance company can't be nationwide. We have car insurance that's nationwide. We have, you know, other businesses that are nationwide. Like, Oh, we can't have nationwide wide products. Okay, well, got to kick, you know, Walmart out of, of 49 states. Make them go back to Arkansas or something. <laughs> um, actually, I don't know where Walmart started. I guess, I just, I can't remember. Whatever. I could be completely wrong. But here's the thing. I never thought it was going to pass, so I don't see this as a, as a, a huge loss. This is just like, oh yeah, the the Republicans are doing more of their same bullshit. These fucking assholes that keep getting elected. These guys, they're doing the same thing that they they've been doing. If anything, this just highlights the problems with the Republican Party. They 
have the chance to repeal the Affordable Care Act and they can't get their shit together enough to work together to create a functional bill that's significantly different than the Affordable Care Act. Ugh, these guys are idiots. And Trump, Trump pulling it out, just being like, okay, we're not doing this, we're not going to put it to a vote, it's obvious it's not going to win. I think that's smart for him. I don't know. I mean, it sounds like the Republicans have been trying <laughs> since the, the, the Affordable Care Act got put in place. They've been trying to repeal it, and they keep failing, and they keep failing, and they keep failing, and it's not a surprise that even when Donald Trump gets in there, that they're going to keep failing. This is when Donald Trump steps in, right? Like, he stood back, he let Ryan... designed the bill, and really he didn't have much of a choice because he's not in the legislative branch. He doesn't have anything to do with actually writing the bills. And I think Trump's the kind of guy who likes to just kind of sit back and see what happens first, and he, he probably has an inkling that it's just not going to work out very well for them. And so... I think what he's doing, he's sitting back, he's watching the Republican Party, especially all the the, the neoconservatives, you know, in the Republican Party who aren't actually conservative, which is why the, the um, Affordable Care Act repeal bill was not significantly different from the, the Affordable Care Act in, to begin with. I don't think this is a bad reflection on Trump. I think this was Trump standing back, watching the situation, going, there's no way in hell this is going to go through. I'm just going to gonna watch the media circus. And now that the Republicans realize that they can't get this shit passed, Trump's going to have to go in there and be like, okay, what's going to actually have to happen for this shit to pass? And how are we going to make this a good bill? Hopefully it's what's going to happen. Who knows? I mean, I think, I think the healthcare stuff is still on Trump's mind. I can't imagine this going away, guys. It's not, and here's the other thing. It's almost as if the, um, the mainstream media and, and the Democrats are acting like, oh, this is the end of it. This is the finality of it. They're not going to try again. Like, n no, no, they'll, they'll probably try again. But um, it's going to be a significantly different bill. So you Democrats are, are stupid. You're you're really dumb. Um, Cause if you guys had supported this repeal act, it w it wouldn't be significantly different from Obama's Affordable Care Act, right? And so you'd basically get it be getting the same thing, just ten percent different or whatever. You know, you you wouldn't have interstate. Um, competition. You'd still be forcing people to pay outrageously high premiums. You'd still be forcing people to have health insurance, um, which I think is fucking ridiculous that you would force a product upon somebody. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway. I just don't see it as a giant loss. <laughs> And I don't see it going away anytime soon either. So. Oh. I'm just, I'm. I'm eager to see what's going to actually be done with it. Because I can't, I can't imagine this going away. I know the Republicans have failed for the past, I don't know, eight years to repeal the goddamn thing. But. And, and I mean, this is even with the majority like this is with the majority <laughs> in in the in the you know like they have a majority they could get something through they could ram something through without the help of the democrats you know like it's ridiculous i don't know like these people need to get their shit together this just shows the flaws of the republican party i mean come on you guys couldn't get your shit together for for you know Eight years enough to repeal this shit? I mean, I don't think they were even trying that hard. It's almost as if... 
They just want to do it for show. That's ridiculous. I don't know. And I think I think Trump is probably going through a learning curve too still. I mean, he's only been president for a few months. I mean, I think he understands he can't make law. So he kind of stood back and, and you know. But it's just, it, I think he's going to go ha more hands-on now. You know, before he stepped back, let the Republicans try to figure it out. They can't figure it out for themselves. Now daddy's going to have to step in. That's essentially what's going to happen. <sighs> just a final thought. I made a post on Twitter. And the post was, because I had seen... I've seen these ads all over the place for Feminist Friday on Spotify, and I was just kind of annoyed with it, so I made this post about hating how the mainstream media and advertisers and stuff are trying to shove feminism down my throat as a woman, and somebody responded with um, linking to an article or a comment about how the Republicans had given up uh, on the, the um, repealing the Affordable Care Act. Yeah, okay, guy. That really has a lot to do with feminism. Uh-huh. I mean... Feminism! Paying outrageously high premiums! Yay! Is, well, I mean, was that his point? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> People are stupid. I, I, that was my final thought. People are stupid. Republican Party's stupid. The Democrats are stupid. People I argue with on Twitter are stupid. Alright, I hope you guys have a great day.